Yo sis, is it recording? Yes, Brad. So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna talk about how menstruation is totally a lie. Made by women so they can be really all the time. No, Brad, that's not how that works. Can't believe we come from the same womb. Menstruation is not a myth or an excuse to be moody all the time. Let me explain how it works. Imagine a bakery with three rooms, the office, the brain, the kitchen, the ovary, and the store, the uterus. Basically, the manager in the office, the pituitary gland, sends ingredients to the kitchen. These ingredients are hormones. In the kitchen, there's a bunch of loaves of bread. These are the follicles, which contain immature sex cells known as oocytes. When the kitchen receives these ingredients, the breads grow. In other words, hormones allow for the follicles to grow and for the sex cell inside to mature. When these follicles grow, they produce the hormone estrogen, like steam rising from bread. When workers see steam coming from the kitchen, estrogen, they know the loaves of bread are baking, so they start to prepare the store by building aisles for the bread. This is the thickening of the endometrial lining in the uterus to prepare for the implantation of the oocyte. Soon, a sex cell from inside one of these follicles pops out and travels to the uterus. This is ovulation. At this point, the bread stops releasing steam. Estrogen levels fall and levels of another hormone, progesterone, increase. When the steam disappears, the workers know the bread is ready, so they put out a carpet for customers to make the store more inviting. This is when cervical mucus becomes more hospitable for sperm, allowing fertilization. Most of the time, no customers come inside, so then the workers get really angry and break the aisles and throw them away. This is the shedding of the endometrial lining through the vagina, which is why we bleed for five entire days. The cycle then repeats. So Brad, menstruation is real. The female reproductive system is constantly working, not to mention the only reason any of us are alive. Yo, 